Hello, my name is Peter, Peter Lentman. Uh, I'm the creative director for Sonda Flowers in Ecuador. Actually, uh, Sonda Flowers is a company which is uh, already the fourth generation, family-owned company, uh, very well known for their callas, their lilies, uh, ranunculus, gorgeous bouquets, and on top the last few years, they started growing all kinds of flowers, uh, which are like this known as summer flowers, uh, but they have like the newest breeds from the best uh, breeders around the world in the industry. So um, what we did now, as we have no normal trade shows going on, we created a three-dimensional virtual trade show booth here in Quito in a very old factory, which used to be like uh, for the production of textiles. And um, as a matter of fact, the people are gone, the textile is gone, the construction is still there, and even the machines, which is phenomenal. So um, in that, I created with the whole team uh, a flower store, a floral department, uh, which you can see, you can take your, your ideas from it, you can use certain points which you see, or certain things, certain styles, and of course we present our new collection of bouquets and harvest bunches and garnish harvest bunches as well. Um, the theme of this floral department flower store is the flower factory. Why it's the flower factory? Because we're inside the factory and also actually we produce. Of course not, we are not a factory because we produce our flowers with lots of love and a lot of dedication and they're collected in our fields and in our greenhouses. But flower factory, I thought was a nice theme. So to start here, um, this is a cart. This one is overused, I have to say, but I thought it was super nice in this theme uh, because we are here in a factory and the fabric is jeans. That's what they used to produce here in Ecuador in this factory. And here are flowers. Well, the flowers are, when they are picked at the fields, they collect them, they put them in these uh, pieces of fabric so um, that they don't harm so much when you use plastic, which is also not so nice for Mother Nature, um, but also not for flowers. So we, we use this. This is a very old one, I have to repeat this because you see it's all broken, but I thought it was a masterpiece. Um, so let's come with me and I will show you around in the store. So here in the store, uh, this is the entrance, uh, two large gates where we wove greens which we grow in the rainforest mountains. We have our own farms over there, about uh, 20 hectares, which is uh, 50 acres or so. Um, and this is some of the greens we have, and we have been weaving that through the large gitter of metal. And um, then to start, uh, here we have like uh, a uh, collection which is called the Ensemble Collection. This collection um, is beautiful because what we did, we used a very popular flower. So we used like roses and lilies, uh, but added also with beautiful palms. We as a company, uh, we have palms, but we like to have only palms which don't look like a palm. And this is a disc boot, so we only call for the beautiful ones. Um, and then uh, this is, comes in different price points. It comes also in different colors. This is, for example, a $14.99. Um, and here, just in clear sleeve, but you can also get it like in the brown paper, which is also beautiful. And as well, you can have it just in the brown paper, no plastic, which is even better for our environment. Then let's go here. Um, this is the table uh, for this uh, so-called promotion, where uh, Carolina is working and she's uh, putting some tags, I think, together and she's wrapping some flowers. But what we also do here is like here we have also the ensemble, but then in a warm rainbow color combination uh, where you see the warm tones. We also do have it in the cold tones. And what we do at this station, uh, we have like these vases ready so people can buy a bouquet and we will chop and drop it and then they can go home and then they have it like ready to go, which is great, of course. Here you can see um, the other color combination, which is the cold tones with the pinks, purples and the red. 
Um, and it's the same story. So, but now let's come inside the store and then you will see immediately something gorgeous. Um, you see the colors. Um, Sande, very well known for the colors. It's the largest grower of colors in the world. Um, and they are also a breeder of colors. So you probably do know the Schwarzwalder or the Strauss, or you know, let's say, the, um, um, the Picasso, this one, very recognizable. Those are all breeds from, from Sande themselves. And aside of that, they also breed lilies. So, and that's already for four generations. Funny, funny side uh, information is that um, I know the family very well because they're from the same town in the Netherlands where I was born and raised. So, you know, it's almost, uh, we're neighbors. Feel very at home. So here are uh, some of the colors we have. We have way many colors. Um, you will see them also later when we go through the rest of the store. The colors, I have to say that we have them in different lengths, so you can get them for 30 centimeter, 40 centimeter, 45, 50, 55, that's about the max we grow, uh, because you know, they don't go that tall as the regular white calla lily uh, we all know from weddings, for example. Um, they're very long lasting, um, and uh, it's a very thankful flower to work with. Then we go here, uh, another display of flowers we grow. This is um, for a few years on the market. We have like selected the best breeds here, different colors. This is the Scabiosa, Scabiosa Scoop, which is a very beautiful flower, very strong and incredible tall. You see this? This is like humongous, right? So it's, um, this is what we grow. This is what we daily have. And we use this like in consumer bunches, we use it in harvest bunches, we use it in bouquets. Um, and in all these cars, gorgeous, just stunning. Um, and look at this one also, this beautiful uh, lavender color is fantastic. Now when they arrive, I have to explain, they're very tight, um, that's normal and they develop very fast. So really you get like, um, in a couple of days, you get like the edges with the actual paddle, but when they arrived, it's like a little ball. Don't get stressed. It will be grow more and more and becomes bigger and bigger. So that's super cool. Then here on this side, some of the lily varieties we have. So we have like, the famous Starfire. The Starfire, very well known in the industry, and guess what? Also developed by Sande. So Sande developed this uh, Starfire uh, years ago, and it's still on the market. It's one of the well, best sold oriental lily. But then here at the center, look at this. Isn't this fantastic? These are rose lilies. Uh, those rose lilies, as you can see here, I will snap one off. So this rose lily has no petals, of, of no, no, no pollen, sorry. So normally you have like the problem with the, the yellowish brownish pollen that they stain on your clothes. Little tip, don't wash it when it's on your clothes, just lay it in the sun for a day and it disappears. So when you wash it, it goes really inside the textile. But this one doesn't have that issue and also doesn't have like the very strong fragrance. So this one is like light, so that's very doable. Then um, look at this. Um, they're just to open uh, beautiful yellow uh, lilies. Um, this is um, not normal for an oriental huh? because uh, normally the, they are like uh, in the pink colors. This is called an OT lily. So it's a breed uh, between two uh, types of lilies and then you have like also the other colors. So then here uh, I was saying like, okay, we have more colors of the colors before, right? So this is another um, structure from the farm also with the fabric with the denim. Um, and when they harvest the callas, then the callas, they are um, 
uh, laid like separately in these pieces of cloth. And this is how they transport it also to the post uh, harvest. But actually, I think it's a piece of art. So when I saw that the farm was like, you know what, I'm going to bring this also to this uh, flower factory to show this off because this is great. And you know what, little thing, um, if you want to sell flowers, we always sell them in water because that's flowers, they really need water. Some flowers, they don't need that much water. And as a matter of fact, uh, it happens to be that um, if you sell flowers and you put them on the table just without water, the consumer really thinks that they are just picked. Of course, they're not old, but that they're just picked and, um, and they prefer to buy those. And that's like with tulips, with amaryllis, uh, that works very well. Um, and this is an other example how you can merchandise your flowers on a different way. So then walk uh, this way. We are at an other kind of lilies. This is the LA lily. LA, it's like uh, a breed between the longiflorum and the Asiatic lilies. The Asiatic lilies we know, of course, uh, but the flower is slightly smaller. This one has bigger flowers, intenser color, and also the breeding program we also carry in our own company is that we look also at uh, flowers which are showing faster color, even when they don't open, but that you really already see which color it is. Like in this case, this is orange, as you can see. Here they're opening already a little bit, and you see the open flowers here, the red, but also the flower bud is also like red already. And that really helps, you know, for the consumer to know which color they like and what they want to buy. But also it shows nicely also in the mixed bouquets immediately. And it comes in different colors from white, yellow, orange, pink, purple, red, um, you name it, they're all colors are available. And then there, this is so precious. A couple of years ago, uh, we started growing ranunculus. And we were not so happy with the ranunculus which were on the market. And so what we did, uh, we selected uh, the, the farm and the agronomist, which is a phenomenal person, Jan. Um, he really did his upper best to select the best productive and long-lasting ranunculus. And these ranunculus, they last for sure seven days, for sure. And they are not even at the biggest, because if they open, they are this big. So it's like a mini peony, more or less. And these are some of the colors we have, like the yellow, the peach. The peach is stunning, uh, because it has this, all these different tones of peach, uh, orange peach, pink peach, and then the light pink, gorgeous burgundy. Um, so yeah, this is a great product. It comes in different lengths. Also like with the color, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55. Um, and um, we also make like consumer bunches out of it and harvest bunches. But you can also buy the bulk if you like. Uh, great, great product. What we do for you is like specifically when it's in bouquets, we uh, put a little straw um, so that the flower stands up. Because um, I like it also when they go like dramatic, that they curl a little bit. But in bouquets, a lot of people, they don't like that. If you don't want the straw, just tell us, then we don't use the straw. Now we have to walk back there uh, because we forgot something in this gorgeous store. We have here Larkspur. We have a program of Larkspur. As you can see how tall this is, um, this is how they grow, and actually they're even taller, but we had to cut them down because my buckets were not high enough, tall enough to, uh, to hold the flowers. Comes in the traditional colors, in uh, white, pink, and, um, and the blue color, purple color. Yeah, and so then we walk on, and we go to another department in our uh, store. The department where we are walking now to, is more about the bouquets. And let's start here. You saw, of course, the beautiful ranunculus. Um, and here is a whole collection, which is called La Ranunculus Bouquet. And La Ranunculus Bouquet is a bouquet where um, 
we use the ranunculus in combination with other, other products. So you see um, the Ella lilies, you see spray roses, roses, hypericum, which we grow also ourselves, and the greens from the rainforest mountain farm we have, wrapped in, in brown paper, uh, but it can be also just a paper or it could be also just in a sleeve. This comes in five colors. So uh, we have like uh, the yellow, the white, the pink, the orange, the purple, um, and you can get them like mixed in a box, different colors, or straight colors in a box, that's also possible. And then we come here, where we have also mixed bouquets. And what we did here is like showing you also how to merchandise in your uh, stores or departments. So we have like, we created these fixtures uh, made from uh, laurel wood and, uh, and metal. And then uh, we have different steps. So every step has its own price point. So if the 9, the 14, 19 and the 24, 99. Uh, this particular collection is called Dalida Bouquet. Uh, and why uh, is it called Dalida Bouquet? Um, the, this wood we are growing, um, it's uh, almost like a dahlia. And so I was thinking, you know, we don't grow these boots or pom-poms when they look like pom-poms. And so um, this one looks like a dahlia. And I think that's, that's stunning uh, to, see, to see a bouquet like this. Nice, nice colors. Uh, and what's the, the nice part of this bouquet is it comes in different color combinations, but there is always this dark peach uh, chrysanthemum in it. Um, which makes it like a whole collection, but there is, there is difference. Like this one has like, is with the red, and that one was with yellow. Comes also in four price points, as I said, um, and great also for upgrades. And talking about upgrades, uh, this particular table uh, is a nesting table from the same material, uh, and here you see like uh, different upgrades which are done with the jungle bouquet. The jungle bouquet you will see in a couple of minutes, um, but this is like the, um, the way how you can present it in your store. So super easy, all the bouquets we make are hand tied, so the, it's like cutting, chop, and drop in the vase. So, um, you know, I use these vases, I love these, the uh, typical vases, super cool. Um, and then when you cut it, you just plop it in, add some more flowers from your Consumer Bunch program, and there you go. Everyone is different, but please try to stay with one collection on a table. Don't mix it up. Then here, the King's Cottage. King's Cottage, a, a very nice collection, uh, which is um, referring to a walk through the Royal Gardens and snapping off some flowers, bringing it home in the house. And as you can imagine, at the Royal Garden, there are gorgeous flowers. And those gorgeous flowers are all inside these bouquets. So you will see like roses, um, beautiful Amimayus, the Queen Anne's Lace, which goes very well with this collection name. And we grow Queen Anne's Lace, and you won't believe it, but it is this tall. I was flabbergasted when I was walking at the farm, seeing these moving flowers in the wind at the top of the mountains of the Andes, gorgeous. But then there is also, of course, like the Picasso, the Picasso Calla, gorgeous roses. Um, we grow also the Craspedias. Nice is that they pop out, so they really stand out and they give like a, a different twist to the bouquet. And not to forget the Lepidium. Lepidium, um, a gorgeous herb, uh, which is very fashionable. It gives really like a nice twist to your bouquets. It makes it more natural um, and um, gives a lot of more texture. Then come with me. So here, I was talking about the beautiful jungle collection that we were seeing over there on the table. And this is the whole presentation. This comes also with just greens. So this is this one, for example, this whole line. Um, and this is phenomenal. Uh, and why jungle, by the way? Jungle is a 
very big trend. It's a big trend, people cannot travel anymore. Uh, so, but they love to travel, so they're dreaming about the jungle. And what they do, they create the jungle at home. And by creating the jungle at home, what do you need? Tropical greens, tropical flowers, beautiful flowers. And in this particular case, are all the flowers from our rainforest farm. Um, so, look at this. Gorgeous, gorgeous this monstera leaf, uh, the molucella, the palm. Um, the, um, the, the eucalyptus, the lily grass, it's all in there. And of course, also the silver dust, which is nice. It's the, if you touch this, it's almost like velvet. Gorgeous. Um, let's move here. And so here we have the touch of purple bouquet. And now you might think like touch of purple. What is this all about? Well, Touch of purple, purple is actually a very neutral color. It blends with any other color. And we always think that it's white or black or maybe gray, which is very neutral. No, also purple. And I can show this perfectly here because this is purple with red, purple with orange, purple with yellow. Now, of course, purple with yellow makes it more bright but it still goes. And that's why it's called the touch of purple. It's a very, very strong bouquet. It's very long lasting. Um, and, and just to give you uh, a closer look, look how beautiful with the green ball we grow, um, the palms and then the, the, the color and also beautiful, the dianthus sweet, which is the dianthus, which is long lasting. Um, a great flower, very uh, thankful, nice texture as well. So now we go here and then we go to a whole different collection. This is the Jador collection, super sweet collection. Um, and I think one of the employees here is already working in the store because I'm missing one bucket I see. Um, so they might be making some upgrades or so. Uh, but very nice about this bouquet, it's like even like a 999, um, it's a very elegant bouquet um, with even a color in it um, and of course the beautiful uh, lepidium um, and look at the, the sweet colors. That's why it's called Jador, which is like in France, in the French language, I love you. Um, so of I adore you. This comes also in five colors. I only presented here on this display the warm tones. I prefer to do that um, so that it looks nicer. It's clear for the consumer if they like warm tones or they like cold tones. If you like warm tones, you walk immediately up to here, make a faster decision what to buy and, um, and you make some more money. Then here, another table with upgrades and you can see that I'm using the bouquets which are very close to to this table uh, the Ziador and on this side the summer breeze I blend them in the colors are okay and um, and again it's so easy because this is like uh, a summer breeze bouquet and I just cut it it's like you take the sleeve off you cut it right you take the base like this and your arrangement is done. All the bouquets we make at our farm are hand tied, so it's super easy. They're already constructed. We at the farm do the job for you and make it your life easy. Then here we have like the uh, summer breeze bouquet. That collection, that is like you walk through the forest. You have a nice day at the beach or you just walk with your dog through the park and there is this nice breeze going on and that's what you want to bring at home. You want to bring this inside your house. And all these flowers, it could be that you find them on your way home, walking through the forest or the park and you just collected them. Now please don't collect them from the neighbor's garden because they don't like that. So uh, be aware. But this is like the, uh, the look. It's, uh, it's a very nice um, uh, 
bouquet which is like has like more like a field bouquet idea um, and look how beautiful the Gerber daisies are. Also from our own farm uh, we have a gorgeous Gerber daisy collection um, also with very unusual shapes like the pasta varieties, the pompon varieties, we have them all. We honestly, if you walk through the farm, it's like walking through the Garden of Eden. It's phenomenal. And now we walk on to the biggest surprise of, the, of this whole department store, or this whole, there's not a department store, floral department or flower shop. Um, here we are, and um, I, let me introduce to Jan. Jan is actually the head agronomist of the farm. He has the magic hands. So he grows all the beautiful flowers, but now I, uh, I made him like a, a florist. So he's now working here and uh, putting all the, the flowers together and wrapping them up. And then to introduce someone else, well, he's hiding now, but he's the guy here with the broom. Uh, you know, someone has to sweep the floor. He's the owner of the farm. This is uh, Peter Venneberg. Um, but, you know, now I made him do something else. So, um, let me explain what happens here. So, let's start on this side here. Um, here I have a collection of, I call it, harvest bunches. And I have to explain this very clearly. Um, normally you have consumer bunches. Consumer bunches has like uh, a look where all the flowers are equally at the same level. Um, and this is like a different look. So here it's more that it's like natural. So as you can see, all the flowers have different levels. So it's not that much more that it's like really like uh, mass production. This is really like cultivated and it's uh, collected with love. And what we do, um, it's all the flowers in the harvest bunches, they have these different kind of levels. And there is another secret, and for that secret you have to contact us uh, because you are going to be super happy because there is also a financial uh, benefit with this. Then, about these combos. What we do for you, we make combinations for a program which is like for a 3 for 12, for 3 for 14, 3 for 15, um, and we have all kinds of sizes with a certain amount of stems. Uh, but what we do, we create buckets like this, as you can see here, for example this one, um, you see all kinds of different flowers, at least there are three different types of flowers, there is always one bunch of Morucella and one bunch of Green Ball. Why? I want to make it more natural looking. Uh, you can have like a color bucket, one color, it is like one clump of purple. And in this case, when we do it in this way, with the, just the, this little touch of green, it makes it all very natural and, and, and more interesting. So pink, purple, and white on this side. These are the cold tones, and, um, and, and the cold tones you present all together. But now when we look and we turn around and we go there, then we see the warm tones. The warm tones um, is like the yellow, the orange, and the, and the red. It's the same story as what I was explaining over there. But you can see how gorgeous this looks. And also, it's easy for the store uh, to keep it this way, because it's like if the, the people working in the store, when they do know, okay, it's color boxes or color, or color buckets, when there is, for example, a consumer um, taking or a guest is taking this one and puts it here with the, with the red flowers, then even, you know, whoever works in the store does understand, oh, this is the wrong position and it's easy to put it back where it belongs. And then so to maintain the presentation in the right look, this is super easy. Then we go there and Look how gorgeous it is. You know, we are in this old factory, this textile factory here in Quito, Ecuador. Um, and I, I think it's, it's picture perfect to see the flowers like surrounded uh, by, by the machines. And if you already did look 
at our virtual trade show booth. Uh, we have like an actual trade show booth or flower store or floral department, the flower factory, where you can really walk through. So it's like Google Street View. So you walk through and so you can see everything. And in that particular video, you will see the whole factory as well. So you can browse through all those machines. But look, this is picture perfect for me. What we see here is the garnished harvest bunches. That means two types of flowers mixed together, a great item to cross merchandise, for example, with the main core program like roses. So you have like here, figure, there is like a, a whole island of dozen of roses. You have this next to it. And then as you buy, let's say pink roses, and then you select one of these bunches, you bring, go home or you go to Jan, uh, who will wrap them up for you, but you can also go home and do it yourself. And then um, you put them together and you have a gorgeous big bouquet. I can tell you one thing, the generation, generation C, they love these kind of bouquets also as is. They love to have this at their uh, desk in their home office. Lots of people nowadays work from home and you really produce and work with a lot of more pleasure way better when you have like some flowers on your desk. So this is one of those examples. We have them in all kinds of combinations. We have like the large spur uh, with the Molucella, which is like all like linear flowers. We have like the lilies and the stock, great perfume. Uh, of course, as the largest Cala farm, we also have them um, here with Cala and Limonium. And nevertheless, we have later, I will show you some more, but as we are here already, I would like to show you this too. These are uh, the Calaposi. It's almost ready to be a wedding bouquet. Um, if you add a little bit of ribbon to it, you can walk the aisle, no problem. The cool thing about this is that we produce it, we tie it at two levels. Meaning that in that case, you can also use it like this in a vase that it just hangs. This you can decorate with, with uh, ribbon or with rope. Um, but I, I did it not so that I can show you really how we produce it. Uh, but you can also make it very short, cut it here, and then it goes like in a little, little short vase and then it's a beautiful short arrangement. It comes in different colors which I can show you also when we walk over here. Um, so we have it also in pink, for example, over here. Gorgeous, super sweet, and it comes in five color tones. So you can also order it like mixed colors in the box. Um, and it's fantastic in the store because it's so fast to chop and drop it. Add some greens to it if you like, and it's, it's beautiful. Also here, some more um, uh, har garnished harvest bunches. Uh, gorgeous this with the lepidium, but look the volume um, of, uh, of this bouquet where we have like uh, the lepidium and the lisianthus. It's, it's, it's to die for. Comes in three colors. Of course, also with the disc boots, with um, the disc boots with the uh, erinchium, gorgeous. And here lilies with uh, uh, larkspur. Now, last not, but not least, I would love to take you this way again. So, in the meantime, enjoy the beautiful walk through the store. And then I have here a collection which is called La Lily. Last but not least, let's say. Um, these are the highlights from the farm. So, what we did, we combined the Calla and the Lily, where we are known for, for so many years and we made it in different price points. So we have it like this way, um, just lilies and, and color. It's monochromatic, always monochromatic, but we also have it like larger, where we have super nice lilies, hypericum and roses, uh, really very nice. And you know, I can take the paper off, 
and then you can see the bouquet better. Isn't this beautiful? And then also I have it in another way, more expensive of course, more flowers, but super beautiful um, to, to have this also um, in the store. A wonderful collection. And what I can tell you, at the end, we have made a lot of new products. It's all brand new, new collections, new flowers. And now it's up to you. So please do visit us. Um, you can visit us on our website. You can pick up the phone. You can send a message by WhatsApp or Messenger. It doesn't matter, we will always be there. Our uh, account managers will always pick up the phone, read your emails and respond to you. And if you have any questions about trends, marketing, um, merchandising, don't hesitate. You can always contact us because we don't do just flowers. We have a whole package. We grow flowers, we do the marketing and we also do the merchandising and we are happy to help you. Thank you very much and see you next time.